Hi guys, it's Beth. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to do an updated 2022 watch wish list. So let's get into my wish list for this year. Before we get started, I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. And I'm just wearing my AP Royal Oak, the 15450, which you've seen on my channel before. White dial, 37 millimeter Royal Oak. She's my absolute favorite lately. It's an easy, versatile piece, especially for the summer with some white and a red lip. Let's get into this wish list. By the way, these watches on my wish list are in no particular order, so I'm just gonna go through them. But we're gonna kick off my wish list with the first one, which is the Omega Speedmaster Moon Watch in that new moonshine yellow gold with the green dial. Now, Omega announced this watch for this year, 2022, for their new release, and it was my favorite Omega of the bunch, hands down. I mean, it is, you know, a Speedmaster moon watch. You can't go wrong with that. But it's in the moonshine gold, which I love already because you guys know that I have the Apollo 11 50th anniversary limited edition one with the same moonshine yellow gold. And I'm just a sucker for that moonshine effect. It's kind of like a matte, dusty yellow gold that looks so good and is so wearable and versatile. But this time they debuted it with the green dial. Now the green, we know green's a big hype color right now. It's a nice green, I mean, it's kind of like a turtle green. The watch itself, for some reason, is giving me turtle vibes. <laughs> I love turtles, I love it. I mean, I saw it, I know there are two versions, but the green one definitely stole my heart. And 100%, I would love to add this piece to my collection. So she has a 42 millimeter in that moonshine yellow gold with the green dial and that super comfortable, flexible, amazing Omega bracelet. I don't think she would beat the um, Apollo 11 50th anniversary for me, but definitely a good, nice piece to add if I could. All right, and next up on my wish list, which you guys have seen me rave about and fall so much in love with, as you guys know, is the AP Royal Oak, the 16202 now, the new 50th anniversary jumbo in the yellow gold. You've seen it on my channel. If you haven't, make sure you go ahead and check out that video where I debuted and showed all the 50th anniversary Royal Oaks for this year, but this baby took the crown. I'm pretty sure not only for myself, but for a lot of people. She's just so special. I mean, so already it's special because it's the 50th anniversary Royal Oak, right? And it's a jumbo. So an AP jumbo refers to the 39 millimeter Royal Oaks. They're extra thin. This one is in the full yellow gold case. And it's got this yellow warm gold dial that kind of smokes out into black. It's a very smoky dial. Um, still has a tapestry, but it's a 50th anniversary. It's a jumbo, yellow gold, and that dial is just everything with that, with the yellow gold. I mean, ugh. I told you guys in that video where I showed her to you that it's very reminiscent of kind of like a honeycomb or of honey for me, very smoky in ways, but she's definitely a fan favorite and oh, for now my grail watch, just about. So if I could have her, she is definitely something I will be dreaming about all year, if not for a very long time. <laughs> Next up on my wish list, again in no particular order, is a Rolex. It's the new GMT Master II, which Rolex announced for Watches and Wonders 2022. It's the GMT Master II in the green and black bezel, which many people nickname so many different things now, but honestly, we hear Sprite, we hear Destro, we hear, I don't really know, but <laughs> I'm calling it the Green Lantern. I'm not sure which nickname is sticking yet, but it is the new GMT Master II with the green and black bezel, which I've also debuted on my channel, so go ahead and check that out. If you haven't, I've shown all the new Rolex pieces for this year, um, close-ups, details, try-ons, so go check out that video. So it's a 40 millimeter GMT Master II with that green and black bezel and stainless steel, and it of course comes with the option of a Jubilee bracelet or oyster, but I would definitely prefer it on a Jubilee. What's unique about the watch is that it has the crown and date window on the left side of the watch versus the right side. Very unusual, very abnormal per se, very unexpected. And a lot of people aren't a fan, I know that. I kind of like it. I've tried it on as you guys have seen in my last video. I don't mind it, I think. I'm just a huge, huge sucker for GMTs for Rolex. They are just about my favorite lineup from Rolex. and. 
a green bezel. It's something that Rolex has never done for a GMT Master 2. We've seen them on studs, of course, on OPs and date justs, but having that green on a GMT, I'm all for it. And I don't really mind the lefty effect, which a lot of people are calling it the lefty as well, but. Okay, next on my wish list is an FP Journ, and it is the Chronomet Blue. I love this watch. I mean, I am pretty new to FP Journ. I'm still learning a lot about the brand, about Francois Paul himself, his genius, but oh my gosh, when I found out about this watch, saw it for the first time in person, tried it on, I instantly just fell in love. I was like, I need this piece in my life, and I just, if I could add her to my collection. The Konomet Blue is a 39 millimeter tantalum case and it comes on a strap, but you can interchange the strap of course, but it's got this unique, stunning, beautiful, magnificent blue dial that, mm, I mean, you really have to see it in person. The Konomet Blue, it's called the Konomet Blue, it shines because of the blue. It's almost like a lacquery effect, like lacquered, but it's very opaque yet shiny and translucent at the same time, if that kind of makes sense. You definitely have to see it in person. I first tried this watch on and saw it in person from a subscriber of mine that I met. He let me try it on, I wore it for like a few minutes and I was just head over heels. I mean, the blue combined with the simplicity of the dial. I mean, it's literally so simple, so legible, huge numbers. I just, I love this watch. A girl can dream. Okay, and next up on my wish list is a Vacheron. It's the new, or new-ish, Vacheron Constantin 222. So the 222 is actually a reissue. It was brought back. And it was brought back for this year, Watches and Wonders 2022. It was actually one of the highlight slash big headline watches that made all the news for this year. I think in a very good and well-deserved way because this watch is so, so stunning. It's a 37 millimeter yellow gold watch. I actually first saw this watch vintage. It was actually on display in the vintage case at the Vacheron Constantin flagship boutique here in New York City, which I also made a video of, so check that out. They had one on display in vintage and I remember seeing it and I told myself, I'm not normally one for vintage watches, but that's just me. And I kind of was like, this is a nice piece. Like it looks really good. I wouldn't mind wearing it. And then lo and behold, 2022 comes about and Vacheron brings it back. And what I love about this watch is the bracelet itself is very unique. Both the bracelet and the bezel, though they don't have Vacheron branding and they're not per se normal Vacheron features on a Vacheron piece, they speak very Vacheron. The bracelet and the bezel, they almost have Maltese cross touches. And as you guys know, the Maltese cross is the logo for Vacheron Constantin. And so it, it has like little touches of Maltese cross in it. And lastly, we do have that Maltese cross at the bottom right hand corner by the five o'clock hour marker. I love this watch. I think I would definitely be blown away if I ever got to see her in person. And I love that it's a great size. I mean, it's a 37 millimeter. Okay, and next is actually a Longa, and I've also shown her on my channel. A lot of these pieces I've actually seen in person and have fallen in love with them. And it's the Little Longa One Moon Phase. So it's a 36.8 white gold case with this like spectacular blue starry dial. Now, if you see this watch in person, which I have seen before, it's got this dial that's it's just so, so beautiful and they call it a dark blue gold flux and it is dark blue but it's got these little specks and stars in them that make it look like a starry night so just like a dark starry night with a bunch of stars illuminating the night sky it's so stunning it, it has a moon face so even better to complete that image that picture and that beautiful masterpiece that it is and it really is the dial that speaks for itself it's a longa that i would love to have i don't currently own a longa but i would love to have one and this definitely would be the piece that i would shoot so hard for i love this piece that starry blue night sky as you move the dial it just flickers and flutters like little specks and little stars and it's really really pretty and very mesmerizing to watch and last on my wish list is a very unexpected one honestly it's the cartier crash the tiger edition 
Now, this watch, Cartier announced for Watches and Wonders 2022. It's a very unique piece. It's a crash. So the crash itself in the last few years have become a very hot collector's piece. I I don't really know how I felt about it for a while. The regular ones are a regular yellow gold case with a white dial. I I don't know, it was hair miss for me. I didn't mind them, but I didn't really understand the craze per se. And when I saw this Tiger Edition, I was like, okay, I get it now. But it's so unusual because it's so not me normally. As you guys know, I don't normally collect diamonds. I don't normally collect the dazzle, the jewel dials. I don't normally like diamonds in my watches, but something about this piece just grabbed me. I mean, the yellow gold case combined with all the colored blue, green, and turquoise enameling, it's stunning. It looks like a tiger. It's striped like a tiger. So it's definitely an animal pattern. Some people are saying it's more like a zebra, but tiger, zebra, whichever animal pattern. But it's got this beautiful colored enamel that runs through the case and it's embedded with a bunch of diamonds and a very, very artistic and unique piece for sure. And this crash, I definitely would fall for, like I would run for. She has a limited edition of 50 pieces, so I'm pretty sure the chances are slim, but a girl can dream. <laughs> all right, and those are all the watches on my wish list for 2022, um, at least so far. I'm pretty sure those are all of them, unless we come back and add some more watches as the year progresses and other companies and brands start announcing more pieces. I don't know, but for now, that's my wish list. A girl can dream, but let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know some of the watches you're chasing and some of the grail pieces that you'd love to have in your collection. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a cute little thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to see more exclusive watch content. Follow me on Instagram for even more updates. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.